Hello everyone, welcome to Chess Basics. My name is Arvind. In this video, you're going to see seven deadly traps for black in the Sicilian defense. Without further ado, let's start with the first trap. e4, c5, c3, preparing for d4, d5, e takes on d5, queen takes d5, knight f3, e6, d4, now knight f6. Why did black play knight f6? Say for example, instead of knight f6, if black had played knight c6, then if d takes on c5, the queen has to take c5. By playing knight f6 first, if d takes on c5, then the bishop can take c5. Now if queen takes queen, knight takes queen. Black will have accelerated development. That's why here instead of knight c6, knight f6 was played. Bishop d3, c4 attacking the bishop. The best move for white is bishop a2. If instead of bishop a2, if white plays queen f4 check, thinking that it can win the pawn, say for example, if bishop d7 blocking, queen takes on c4, white would be up a pawn. Instead of bishop d4, if knight bd7 is played, then bishop takes on c4, the queen has to move to a more uncomfortable square. But here black has a much better winning move. Feel free to pause the video and find the winning move for black. If you found the winning move, congratulations for everyone else. b5, this attacks the queen. The bishop on d3 is already attacked. White would end up losing a piece. Queen c2, c takes on d3, queen takes d3. If instead of queen c2, if bishop takes on c4, then queen takes c4. If queen takes c4, then pawn takes c4. Black is still better here, being up a piece. Let's look at another trap. e4, c5, knight c3, knight c6. This is a close Sicilian. Knight g e2. If your opponent's king is surrounded by pieces and pawns, there is always chance for a smothered mate and you should be looking for it. g6. Black is planning to feign cut its dark squared bishop. d3, bishop g7, bishop e3. Knight d4. The d4 square is guarded twice. So knight d4 is a very safe move. g3. g3 is a huge blunder. Feel free to pause the video and find the winning move for black. White played g3 hoping that black would play b6 and white would reply with bishop g2. However, here black doesn't play b6. Instead, plays knight f3 mate. The only escape square d2 is guarded by the knight. The knight can't be captured. The king has nowhere left to go. In this position, a better continuation is h4. You can go for an early king side attack. h5, blocking the advance of the h pawn. Knight d5, e6, knight df4, b6. This is perfectly okay for white. But here, g6 is a huge blunder. Let's look at another trap. e4, c5, Knight c3, knight c6, this is the closed variation, f4, g6, knight f3, bishop g7, bishop b5, knight d4, knight takes on d4, c takes on d4, knight e2, e6. This is a very important lesson for beginners. Whenever there are loose or undefended pieces, the diagonal to the king should always remain closed or there should not be any checks from the opponent's queen. d3 allows queen a5 check, bishop d2 blocking, queen takes bishop. Going back, instead of d3, bishop d3 is better or even c3. But d3 opening up the diagonal to the king is a blunder. Let's look at another trap. Let's look at a similar trap that we saw earlier. e4, c5, c4, knight c6, knight e2. Again, hope you're able to see the pattern. The white's king is surrounded by all of its pieces. Knight f6, knight bc3, knight b4. Again, this comes with threat of mate in one, but if white isn't careful and plays g3, then knight d3 is mate. Instead of g3, if White plays a3, still knight d3 is mate. Here white should have played d4. 
preventing knight d3 mate. Let's look at another trap. e4, c5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, a6. Here white has to take the knight. Bishop takes on c6. Black has the option of taking with either pawn. P takes c6. Instead, if white doesn't take the knight and plays bishop a4, it would be met with b6. Bishop b3, c4 will trap the bishop. Bishop takes c4, pawn takes c4. White is now down a piece and this is more than enough for black to win the game. e4, c5, knight f3, e6. This is the French variation of the Sicilian defense. d4, c takes on d4, knight takes d4, a6, the Khan variation. This is more of a prophylactic move. Bishop f4, bishop f4 is a mistake because of e5. White is going to end up losing a piece here. Bishop takes on e5, queen a5 check. This comes with the attack on the bishop as well. The bishop on e5 is a loose piece and the diagonal to the king is open. Knight c3 blocking, queen takes e5. Black is up a piece and winning the game. Let's look at another trap. e4, c5, the Sicilian defense, b4, this is a wing gambit, c takes on b4, a3, offering the second pawn. It's always good to avoid the second pawn. d5, black is offering a pawn of its own, e takes on d5, queen takes d5. If white grabs a pawn on b4, a takes on b4, then queen e5 check, wins the rook in the corner, bishop e2 blocking, queen takes rook. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button and also share this video with your family and friends. I wish you all the best in trying out what we have learned today in your gameplay or avoiding making those mistakes. If you are new here, consider subscribing. I make more such videos on a daily basis. You can also follow Chess Basics on Facebook. We will leave a link in the description below so you don't miss out on new videos. Also check out my other videos to learn some cool traps in chess. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.